shift key in here with the GE Smart Profile oven with no preheat. Now the Smart Oven came well packed in this very large box. Included in the box is the oven. You also get an air fryer rack, a bake tray, and another grill. Now the crumb tray pulls out from the bottom for easy cleaning. Here's what it looks like on the countertop. It is deep, but it fits very so nice. One of the best GE Smart appliances is the range because you can preheat it using Alexa. Alexa, set the oven to 300 degrees. Preheating oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for baking. With the GE Profile Smart Oven, there's no need for preheat. Now, I had a basic Hamilton Standard analog toaster oven before I had this, and sometimes it would fail to shut off. The, the manual timer would stick, it would keep running and burn the toaster, could even possibly start a fire. Now, to set up the Wi-Fi, you download the GE Smart app. You open it up, and it detected a new appliance nearby. Now make sure that you have strong Wi-Fi in the area and that you're using WPA2 for security. Now once it was discovered, I set the device name to Toaster and then I installed the Amazon Alexa skill. It was discovered for voice control. Alexa, set the toaster to bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Alexa, turn on the toaster light. Alexa, set the toaster to air fry for 10 minutes. Air fry may take 10 minutes. Press start on your toaster to begin. Alexa, turn the toaster off. Lastly, let's see how this toaster makes toast. It has a darkness setting. I set it to five and it has a slice setting, which defaults to two. I was a little concerned the first time, but it came out perfect. Way better than the manual toasters where you have to adjust a knob. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products.